The graphic off to my right here is an incredible representation of the potential benefit yielded by a component of Ginkgo biloba in relation to myocardial ischemia, ischemia, no Z in ischemia, but myocardial ischemia. But it yields benefits in a way which was not really recognized until now. Now, often people think of Ginkgo biloba, they never think of heart health. Well, the relationship we'll delve into in a few seconds is basically how Ginkgo helps yield or protect ATP production, which yields benefit in regard to myocardial ischemia. Now, keep in mind, your, your brain is gonna light up, no relation intended, to ATP, and now you begin to look at, well, maybe ginkgo biloba may help other issues in regard to myocardial energy production. And therefore, that's how it potentially can yield to benefit in a myriad of other components. People don't think of ginkgo biloba necessarily as a, help, a helper in the generation of adenosine triphosphate production. Old nutritionists, dietitians, biochemical may recognize Krebs, Krebs, uh, Krebs cycle, citric acid cycle, you know, ATP cycle, whatever it is, the years change over the years. But let's get into the research as it unfolds right here. And it's actually really, really, really cool because I learned so much myself in reference to the potential benefit of ginkgo biloba in regard to adenosine triphosphate. Let us begin as follows. Herbs that protect the heart. Bilobalide reduces cardiac damage and myocardial ischemia, says new study in the Journal of Pharmaceutical Analysis. Researchers unravel how bilobalide, the bioactive ingredient in ginkgo biloba extract, protects the heart from ischemic injuries in ischemic injuries in cardiac diseases. Now, into the study. The normal functioning of the human body requires a steady flow of energy. This energy in the form of adenosine triphosphate, ATP, is produced by breaking down carbon sources like glucose, lip lipids, or amino acids. D tricarboxylic tri tricarboxylic acid, I don't know, I have a hard time pronouncing that. TCA tricarboxylic carboxylic acid, TCA cycle, one of the most important ATP producing processes in the mitochondria, is a major hub of metabolites and is known for ensuring a fine balance between its cyclic intermediates referred to the metabolic flux. There is a general consensus that this metabolic flux is impaired in heart-related disorders. A common example is myocardial ischemia, MI, a condition in which blood flow to the heart is reduced, preventing the heart muscles or cardiomyocytes from receiving enough oxygen. While it is well understood that myocardial or myocardial ischemia is marked by decreased ATP, adenosine triphosphate synthesis, and increased glucose breakdown or glycolysis, Manipulating the TCA, tricarboxylic, tricarboxylic, tricarboxylic acid cycle to develop treatment options is extremely difficult. And in comes ginkgo biloba to proceed. This is what they discovered. In the past, ginkgo biloba L extract, GBE, which contains the active component bilobolide, has been used as popular herbal medicines in the treatment of ischemic heart diseases. However, the exact mechanism through which it exerts its anti-ischemic effects is still unknown. Hence the research. They successfully uncovered the science behind the metabolic flux regulation of MI, or myocardial ischemia, and how ginkgo biloba extract, bilobolide in particular, protects the heart from this condition in a new study. GBE's regulation of energy metabolism attracted Quoting the researcher, our attention because the heart works continuously and needs energy to power the circulatory system. Now, a lot of athletes out there or individuals who feel fatigued and so on and so forth, they're going to see how basically energy metabolism and ginkgo biloba and your, as well as my eyes, are going to light up because that's going to yield a totally new spectrum of potential benefits in reference to GBE. To proceed, they found that ischemic cardiomyocytes contained larger quantities of enzymes that converted carbon sources to metabolites, both before and during the TCA cycle, which might have caused metabolites to accumulate and disturb the metabolic flux, since they could not enter the cycle in excess. Interestingly, on treating the injured cells with ginkgo biloba extract, the authors found that the active ingredient bilobolide could protect the mitochondria 
and preserve ATP, adenosine triphosphate, generation. The enzyme levels in the treated cells went down and prevented metabol metabolite accumulation, enhanced metabolic flux, and it reduced the pressure on the heart cells. The modulation and metabolic flux in ginkgo biloba extract treated cells worked by lowering the accumulation of the tricarb tricarboxylic acid or TCA cycle intermediates, which is different from previously reported mechanisms. Testing the efficacy of bilobolide in a rat model of myocardial ischemia yielded similar results. This time, they not only checked the enzyme levels, but also examined the myocardial tissue of ginkgo biloba extract treated rats, which showed less myocardial ischemic damage signs than untreated tissue samples. The findings were consistent with those of ISO injured cells, indicating that bilobolide protects the heart muscles. Now, looking at the synopsis of how this particular one herbal extract can yield benefit in regard to energy metabolism, metabolic flux, so on and so forth, it opens again an entire door of possibilities in regard to ginkgo biloba extract itself. Something beyond that I even had an inkling or should say was aware of. Now, ginkgo biloba has been used in traditional medicine for centuries. In fact, if you want to read an interesting aspect of the history of the ginkgo biloba or the ginkgo biloba trees, uh, research the relationship to how they survived the Hiroshima bombing. The ginkgo trees are extremely, extremely curious and interesting in their actions, and so much yet is still to be discovered. Now, keep in mind, this is a pilot study, so we don't have dosages and so on and so forth or anything else that would be uh, yielded in order to make a, a proper, a doctor to make a proper prescription per se. Uh, traditional medicine individuals, which have greater experience with this, uh, probably yield you greater insights. But however though, for us in particular, ginkgo biloba, help and protect adenosine triphosphate production, the metabolic flux or energy production, is an amazing, amazing discovery. I will, oh, oh by the way, just as a side note, this is everything they looked at in regard to basically the studies, uh, what they had, in reference to basically the um, other components of the plants they researched, and it will be there for you as well, and also too, a link to the research, and as always, gratitude to the researchers. I am humbled to watch, I've been gone for a little while, back and forth moving, so I'll get back to the regular scheme of things shortly, and I'll catch you all next time. See you then. Bye.